And Ethan, all this week we're getting people ready for the upcoming winter season. That's right, and the winter weather outlook is just days away. So what is our winter, at least the forecast for the winter ahead? We'll let you know Thursday coming up at 7 p.m. right here on WGL. Certainly doesn't feel like we're getting closer to winter. Feels like we're somewhere right around, I would say, just after Labor Day for tomorrow. Warm Election Day out there with temperatures up near or just above 70 degrees. Cold front pushes through later in the evening. This will bring a cooler shot of air for your Wednesday. But then as we get closer to the weekend ahead, some showers start creeping back into the forecast outside right now. Two things are happening. More clouds are around and we have a light breeze that's keeping things mild out there. Just 56 at this hour in Carlisle. It is quiet on live local eight radar, but notice back up towards I'd say the Schuylkill Northumberland County lines up towards northern Dauphin County may get scraped by an isolated shower. There is a warm front up near I 80 that is pushing all of this moisture off to the north and to the east, but this is what we'll have to watch tomorrow. This cold front drags across the Susquehanna Valley, but I do expect as the front moves by, it's just going to be delivering a shot of drier air. So we'll start our Tuesday off with cloud cover, but we'll end it with sunshine. So mostly cloudy tonight, light winds, lows down into the low to mid 50s. That's closer to the average highs for this time of the year. Winds will pick up late tomorrow morning and it will stay breezy, but we'll see more sunshine later in the afternoon. And there it is. The highs in the upper 60s to lower 70s. The record high is 76 for tomorrow. Not too far away from that. Made it to 62 for our high after a morning low of 39 degrees. And I just checked taking all the daily averages and averaging out. How are we on the warmest years to date? Second place for us right now with an average annual temperature of 59.4 degrees. The warmest to date is 2021. Tomorrow, certainly well above average. We could use some rain. We haven't received any at the airport for the month of November. And for the year to date, we are now eight and a half inches below average. It's 54 in Harrisburg, 50 for watching us in Lebanon, still 57 in Chambersburg, but it's even warmer off to our west. How about close to 70 at this hour near Louisville, Kentucky? You can see that wedge of warmer air over the Ohio River Valley. That's what's pushing to the east and will be overhead tomorrow. But there's the storm system pushing through southern Canada. You can see the moisture and yeah, even some snow and parts of New England. That's going to push all off to our east. Large and in charge. Ridge of high pressure still controlling our weather through tomorrow morning, but cold front moves on by. But notice as the front moves by, it's just bringing a shot of cooler air. More seasonable air will be around for your Wednesday with temperatures back closer to average. But this drop in temperatures will be brief. Another storm returns to the region late on Wednesday. Shower chances will go up on Thursday with higher chances around for our Friday. Most likely early in the morning may dry out later in the day. So we could use the rain and notice the temperatures starting to fall back closer to average and will level off just a little bit below average for your Veterans Day week into early next week. But when we look at the 10 day forecast, not much rain there other than Thursday and Friday. Shower chances remain low until we approach next week with temperatures warming back up closer to seasonal averages by Tuesday of the following week. All right.